This movie is all about packages. We'll define what they are, show what you can put into them, and show you how they're represented in the UML. You can put UML elements together into higher level groups, and these are called packages. For example, you can group related classes together to simplify and declutter a class diagram. A package looks like a file folder. It looks like this. It's a rectangle with a little tab at the top. And this is a useful visual concept because packages group elements together just as a file folder contains a group of related documents. You can use packages to contain any kind of elements within the UML, but you'll probably see them used most frequently for classes and use cases. And that's because class diagrams and use case diagrams both have a tendency to grow very large. So packages are very useful to help you simplify those kinds of diagrams. In your diagrams, you can use a package that looks just like this one. It has the name written on the package, and that's perfectly sufficient. Let's call this one the utilities package. You can also show the classes that belong to a particular package. And there are a couple of ways that you can do that. Let's create classes called Math, File Handling, and Graphics. And these classes will go into our Utilities package. One way that you can show that these classes belong to this package is to use the containment connector and that looks like the, what you see here a straight line with a plus sign and a circle at one end the sign with the plus sign touches the element that contains the element at the other end of the connector so one way that you can show that these classes are contained by this package is to use this connector a simpler way, or perhaps a more visually neat way, is to put the classes inside of the package. And you can do that so that your package looks like this. And this shows very clearly the contents of our package, that the math, file handling, and graphics classes are in the utilities package. It's a little bit better, if you can, to put the name of the package up on the tab when you use this method just because it makes it clearer that that's the package name but Visual Paradigm won't let me do that so you can still see the same idea the utilities package has these classes you can package data entities and you can also package business entities depending on what the purpose of your diagram is you can also nest packages. For example, if we have another package, we'll call it Java, and we want, to, we want the Java package to contain the utilities package and everything that's inside of it. So we can nest these. And in your diagram, you just want to make this one big enough to hold the other one and there you are, nested packages. Now outside of this package symbolism here, if you want to take your math class and show that it belongs to the utilities package, the way that you show that is with double colons. So you would have utilities, double colon, and then math. Let me make that a little bigger so you can see that. You can also show the nested package that we were just doing. Again, separated from the rest of the class name by double colons. So this would show you in another diagram or elsewhere that the math class belongs to the utilities package, which is nested inside the Java package. When you're creating packages from your class diagrams, keep in mind that in general, classes in the same inheritance hierarchy get grouped into the same package.